Hi everyone, I welcome you all of you on my YouTube channel, Deepak Sabrani's YouTube channel. So, if you are new to this channel, please like and subscribe this channel. Here I am going to cover entire engineering maths for all the branches. In the last class, I have covered some problems. You can see around uh, 35 or 32 problems I have covered already. So, another problems I will cover. But before that, I like to highlight one more important topic that what is the relation between differentiability and continuity. In one of the topic I discussed that when a function is when a function is discontinuous, it is non-differentiable. So I have shown you by graph also in the last lectures, you can see. Okay. But now I will discuss that in detail that what is the relation or how you can relate continuity and differentiability. How you can briefly relate continuity and differentiability that we are going to discuss now. Now. So relation between continuity and differentiability. And this will also help us to solve many problems relation between continuity and differentiability differentiability and no relation between continuity and differentiability relation between continuity and differentiability and relation continuity and differentiability. A function is said to be differentiable. Let's say fx. I want to check differentiability of fx at x equal to a. So it is said to be differentiable if limit x approaches to a of fx minus fa upon x minus a exists. It is said to be differentiable if this limit exists. Okay, now if I have to evaluate this limit, then what should I do? If you want to evaluate any limit, first put the value. If I am putting the value here, I will get f of a minus f of a, that is 0 divided by 0. So I am getting a 0 by 0 form. I am getting a 0 by 0 form. Now, 0 by 0 form, I have already discussed that it is an indeterminate form. It is an indeterminate form is a indeterminate form and it may give you a finite value please limit exist and it may not be defined or you can say in place of finite value i can say that limit may exist limit may exist or limit may not exist for indeterminate case we have seen the problems where limit exists we have even seen the problems where limit does not exist. Limit may exist or limit may not exist. Limit may not exist. So it means that there are so many functions which are differentiable and there are functions which are not differentiable. There are functions which are which are not differentiable, right? So that is the case, right? So sin x is differentiable everywhere, but mod x is not differentiable at x equal to 0. Mod x is not differentiable at x equal to 0 because Limit does not exist. <coughs> this limit does not does not exist, right? Now, so now if I say first point that what happens if somebody says that my function is continuous at x equal to a? So first point is f x is continuous at at equal x equal to a. Now somebody said that function is continuous at x equal to a. If somebody says that function is continuous at x equal to a so limit x tend to a of fx should exist and it should be equal to value of fa. Value of fa or I can write it as limit x tend to a fx minus f of a equal to 0 and which can be written as limit x tend to a because it is a constant and it is a finite value. Then only function is defined, right? Then only function is continuous. So it can be written as fx minus f a is equal to 0 f x minus f a is equal to 0 f x minus f a equal to okay now if f x is a continuous function now what can i comment on the differentiability what can i comment on the differentiability now if i want to comment on dif differentiability by using this that f x is continuous at x equal to a so for differentiability limited x tend to a of f x minus fa upon x minus a must exist 
and if you can see this can be written as this is 0 this is always 0 a minus a is always 0 and if a function is continuous this is also 0 because limit x tend to a of fx minus fa is 0. So by continuous we can say that it is a 0 by 0 form it is a 0 by 0 form it is a pakka 0 by 0 form but it doesn't guarantee that but it doesn't guarantee that limit exists or not. So here there is a chance that fx may or may not be differentiable may not be differentiable may not be differentiable so by just checking continuity at x equal to a you cannot say that it is also differentiable at x equal to a it is not true if a function is continuous at x equal to a it may or may not be differentiable at x equal to a for example simple example is mod x mod x is continuous at x equal to 0 but because of sharp corner because of multiple tangents it is not differentiable it's non differentiable at x equal to 0 right but if you look at y equal to x square so x square is continuous at x equal to 0 it is continuous there is no break at x equal to 0 it is continuous and and it is differentiable also because slope is zero you can see here it is differentiable so may or may not be differentiable may or may not be differentiable may or may not be differentiable okay now second part second thing is if somebody say function is differentiable then what to say then what can i comment on the continuity now given is fx is differentiable at x equal to a fx is differentiable at x equal to a somebody says that function is differentiable at x equal to a function is differentiable at x equal to a if we say this then it means that limit x tend to a fx minus fa upon x minus a exists Correct. If function is differentiable, it means that at x tend to a, fx minus fa upon x minus a exists. Now, if this is true, now suppose if fx minus fa is not 0, suppose limit x tend to a of fx minus fa is non zero, then non zero, this is always zero, then non zero by zero means means limit does not exist a limit does not exist means it is not differentiable it is not differentiable so what does it mean it is not true if it is not true what is true true is limit x tend to a of fx minus fa has to be equal to zero then only this limit will exist otherwise this will never exist because if the above value numerator is finite then finite by 0 is always not defined. So this has to be finite if this has to be finite this means that limit x tend to a of fx must be equal to f of a it means fx is continuous at x equal to a fx is continuous at x equal to a fx is continuous. So what does it mean if a function is differentiable then 100% it is continuous at that point. So if a function is differentiable at x equal to a, it guarantees that it is continuous at x equal to a. If you have checked the differentiability at a point, you don't need to check that continuity. This clearly it is a continuous function. It is a continuous function. Clear? That is the second point. Third point is, now if I am saying that, fx is discontinuous at x equal to a is discontinuous at x equal to a now i am saying fx is discontinuous at x equal to a what does it mean it means that limit x tend to a of fx is not equal to f of a is not equal to f of a it is not equal to x of a then only it is discontinuous or even limit may not exist at that point even limit also don't exist now if this is the case then it means that limit x tend to a 
you can take fa this side fx minus fa not zero and if it is not zero now what can i comment on the differentiability limit x tend to a fx minus fa upon x minus a has to exist but as this is not zero now from here we can say it is not zero divided by zero so it does not exist it means that function is not differentiable at x equal to a so this implies fx is non differentiable at x equal to a. function is not differentiable at x equal to a function is not differentiable at, at x equal to a clear yeah? it is not differentiable at x equal to a now fourth case is now if i say fx is not differentiable now this is given that fx is non differentiable at x equal to a and what you can comment on continuity non differentiable at x equal to so it is given that limit x tend to a of fx minus fa upon x minus a does not exist this is given because it is not differentiable does not exist now which are the cases when this limit does not exist so this case will be when this is discontinuous when it is discontinuous then we have seen that fx minus fa is not this your numerator is not equal is not equal to zero if this is not equal to zero means discontinuous then f limit x tend to a of fx minus fa is not zero means discontinuous and what is the case it is continuous also it may be continuous if it is continuous continuous then it will give you a zero by zero form which is an indeterminate form it may exist or it may not exist so there is ambiguity so if a function is non differentiable then it may be discontinuous or it may be continuous it may be discontinuous or it may be discontinuous very good example is y equal to x square which is continuous and differentiable at every point but y equal to mod x mod x is not differentiable but it is continuous but it is continuous so you cannot say that if a function is non differentiable then it is discontinuous that is not true it may be continuous or it may not be continuous okay so it fx may or may not be continuous fx so if it's not differentiable then fx may or may not continuous at x equal to a at x equal to a. so i hope these four things are very very clear to you okay so you can see that if it is continuous then you can see it is may be differentiable or may not be differentiable it may or may not be differentiable if it is differentiable then pakka it is continuous then pakka it is continuous if it is discontinuous then pakka it is not differentiable and if it is non differentiable then it may be continuous or it may not be continuous so i hope you are enjoying the videos thank you for watching the videos thank you